All right, so somebody was sending the APK earlier, and I didn't click on that yet. Oh, the Whitewater game? That looks awesome. Got to try that. So who's doing the Whitewater game? Oh, that's that, me. That's you. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, Thanks. Um, so I was trying to import the new, the new thing, the new ODK. Sorry, and uh, I'm getting an error that says uh, you're trying to import an asset which contains a global game manager. Okay, so that's an error that you can ignore. Uh, I did that on purpose because uh, if we look at Unity here. <clears throat> Right, Unity. Okay, so I distribute these packages, right? So people mm -hmm. can do their stuff, and I enabled this. You can go to Ouya, you say use the Ouya project input settings. So right. um, that lets people, uh, if I go to my input settings, it lets people use that the, the input settings that are in the package so they don't have to type in all these 71 different access settings and stuff. So it's right. telling me that right. I included that input settings in the package, which I did, but it's not an error. I know I know it doesn't belong in the assets folder, but I don't need an error okay. to tell me that. It's not really an error. <laughs> okay. I was just wondering if it was an error saying that, you know, it couldn't import something because of whatever, but if it's just, yeah, if it's just an error saying that, oh, it's in there and it shouldn't be kind of thing, then that's fine. Yeah, here we go. It's telling me that that file is right there. <clears throat> So you only get this error on Unity 4. It doesn't happen on Unity 3. So. Okay. Kind of bogus. I should, I should get it fixed in 4.1. Because <laughs> that's getting pretty close to releasing, I suppose. So have, have you put the water game in the store? Uh, You're still developing it. I, I kind of want to see what it's like Like once you have something in the store, like how easy it is to update it. Uh, like I there's a, a, an approval process kind of thing, and you might want to see it. Like... Right. I did put um, a version up, but I was thinking that it was more like <clears throat> where the store was now. It was more like just a... A developer kind of, you know, you just throw it up for people just to to mess right. with kind of thing, and uh, uh, as far as I know, it's still stuck on. Uh, oh, what does it say? It's stuck. It hasn't gotten approved, basically. Okay. It's uh, still verifying APK. Yeah, I, th so. I think somebody has to hit the big red button. To right. make it go to the next step, or there's some cron job that hasn't been started. Right. So yeah, it, you know, it wasn't far enough while I was going to bother, you know, poking somebody and getting them to do anything. So <clears throat> maybe next next iteration. The the core team is aware of the issue getting stuck. I did see him talking about it in the. Oh, okay. Skype window. <clears throat> so, are you saying with the like how I'm doing um, the calls to the GUI input manager right now? Um, it's just going to continually return that um, that that's true unless I yeah. check for a button up. Right. Oh, oh. Okay. Because before I, I was like I was using the same code and I was working fine. Huh. That's kind of strange. For most that's... things, some things okay. were. But... but yeah, I'll have yeah, to I mean, change it's, that. Yeah, I mean it's 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 not exactly like the Unity API because, <clears throat> but I try to make it similar so. Like in the Unity API, uh, input that get button up, 
only returns the mm -hmm. button up event in the same update that that event happened where okay uh, that's not exactly how this one works it's just when you say is get button up it says oh is the button up or down it's just the current state oh, okay. it's not it doesn't have anything to do with the frame cuz the reason behind that is the java stuff is asynchronous and i don't know if it happened in the middle of the frame or the beginning of the frame or the end of the frame so like Right. I could probably like wrap it and I could probably like I could say okay you're going to get this event on the next frame where the input actually happened so it'd be like one frame behind right uh, cuz there's like a post update frame event kind of thing and then I'd clear all the states in there and and if if the input was detected I'd like set the just happen flag and then, uh, and then the next frame would would see it happen, and then clear it at the end of that frame. Right. It's kind of a weird interface, though, because it's like you're depending on like a single update event for it to have seen it, versus like that's that's going to be slower performance than if you just got an event callback because you're going to be checking that like every frame versus just like handling it when it happens. So oh, okay. Oops. <clears throat> so like the uya sdk dot key enum dot button underscore underscore o that's what you're talking about. Yep. Yeah, and, and there's there's a key code for uh, D-pad down, and and you do this just on the ones that you're trying to detect a tap, like, you know, it wouldn't make sense right, for okay. like your player controller movement things because you always want to get the state for that, but in the play times that okay. you just want to do like a fire button or or a timer right. or something. Okay, so the the way I'm currently doing it would be fine for like a character controller, where yeah. it's like constant. Okay, yeah. like like just Mario, how you're always pushing to the right and he goes to the right. Right, gotcha. Okay, cool. Like in in Gravity, we have a zoom camera thing, and uh, this is the example I always use, where okay. like if it was a a button handler, I'd have to keep tapping it over and over again to get the camera to zoom out. Where as a state event, I could just uh, zoom out while the button's pressed. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of did a little workaround where I uh, I just call a function that that tests for uh, or that just puts a bit of time in there so that it would only it would only basically go down the menu on, like once instead of continually just running through it. So. <laughs> This should be better. Cool. Yeah, that was that was something I was going to work into the um, the starter kit, which was uh, show an example of how to have your controller like control the switching between menu items and stuff uh, without including NGUI, because so many people like rebelled against why why do we see NGUI? Yeah. Yeah, it, it it kind of pissed me off when I <laughs> when I first imported it, but that was that was back when uh, it wasn't um, self-contained kind of thing. So I tried yeah. to remove it out of the project, and then it started giving me errors and and stuff like that. And yeah, so all all that stuff should be fixed up and isolated now. So that's cool. that's one of the reasons why I made the starter kit like isolated, just to right avoid repeat problems. <clears throat> And I don't have to write JavaScript anymore, which is awesome. <laughs> although, although I kind of thought about like, what if I, what if I did make a JavaScript uh, powered uh, SDK or something? Right. <laughs> I mean, it's not difficult to write the same C sharp code that way. Does that mean like? Well, actually, I've I've done it before. Uh, for NGUI, and you write JavaScript, 
Um, do you have to do? Do you have? Do you have to do anything special, or is that already set up that where they have? They did it in JavaScript, so you don't have to. Uh, I don't use any GUI at all. Okay. I'm using um, UI Toolkit. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, well I'm going to try this uh, water game on my Ouya here. I'll just share my screen if I don't need to, have, need to turn on the capture device. Apparently if the, the software likes to crash every couple of days if I leave it running. <laughs> then all my colors go weird. Okay, live is on. All oh, right, I've got a bunch of devices plugged in. <laughs> well, I might as well test this other thing we have. Okay. So if I find those entries. Whitewash, there we go. All right, so this is something that we've been working on where you have the APK that you want to test, and you mm -hmm. just have to drag and drop it to the Unity thing, and it, it uh, then I can decide whether I want to, like, install, run it, uninstall it, kill it, whatever, on the OUYA. Okay, that's after you, that's when you have the OUYA, like, connected to your computer. Um, yeah, but also I'm going to add a toggle that turns it into wireless mode because I do have a wireless device here that I can just reconnect. Assuming it's got wireless ADB on. So I run ADB connect. Oh, it wasn't running. So I turn on there and I say re refresh, reconnect, and it detected the device. So now when I run your whitewash, and I say, okay, install and run, and I click this button, it'll run on both devices. Assuming it's up to date. So I haven't really showed this on video, but with a good SVN panel, I can just click update, and it automatically will update. Hmm. SVN. Now Unity's recompiling or something. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> I was trying to get the Kindle Fire to detect, but I think after after I installed the drivers, I need to restart my computer before it will go. 
Ah, uh, well, that's why it's still in beta. <laughs> That's why I also have this other script where I just double click the APK and it puts it on my box. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, I gotta make sure I turn on the controller. Quick. There's multiplayer if you have two controllers. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of one of my next things is I want to get rid of the multiple controller lag that some people have been reporting. Okay. How big is this guy? Let's see. Yes. Yeah, hmm. 40? 28 I don't know. Oh, okay. So that's another thing that I can get right from this panel. It'll tell me how big things are. But more importantly, like if they didn't uh, implement the pause interface, like I can just kill everything. <laughs> okay. I don't think I have a pause in. <laughs> there we go. Oh, whoops. So did, did you implement the right intent? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Uh, so that it shows up in the, the game section. Um, is that in the, soon. that's in the Android manifest, is it? Yeah. Um, it's shown in software. Okay, so in in your uh, activity, your activity in your Android manifest. Yep. Make sure that it says TV dot OEI dot intent dot category dot game. Yeah, that one. Yeah, does. <laughs> Um, have you done a new build since you updated? It, maybe it didn't happen um, before. Yeah, maybe not. I I did just update. I sent you one with uh, okay. with like the old OD, ODK. Um, so yeah, I I can't send you a new one because the uh, my menu is is working wonky. Yeah, right yeah now, that happens. So. Yeah, in between builds. Yeah. That never happens. What are you talking about? <laughs> Docs, Google, no? Oh, uh, yeah, if you can send files wirelessly to the UEF, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I haven't. I know what the commands are. I just need to test them out. I guess I could test that now if we want to try it. I know what the commands are. So when you said you sent a link, um, I got the one that you sent at 441. Well, that, that doesn't mean I can't run it. Here, hang on. Got to run it. 
course I have to run it. Okay. So you got a splash screen. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it's old stuff. And you have multiplayer. That's cool. Oh, buttons are working. Which uh, button should I hit to actually go into a campaign? Uh, if you go to practice. Oh, practice. Okay. Yeah. You probably said that before. <laughs> no, I didn't. And then here you should be able to adjust most things. Um, if you want, you can try the name. I don't know if that actually works yet, but... There's no life jacket or shorts, different, but... Um, hmm. Well, where's blue? You know, I've got hypothermia. Come on. <laughs> I think when I get to the end of the list, it switches down to hair. Oh, okay. Anyways, I'm still working on that stuff, but should also have some kayak character customization. I mean, as well yeah. after, but all right, there we go. Oh, and I can name. Here we go. Don't make me use the keyboard. I like the, the keyboard thing that uh, Sky Arena used, where it doesn't force me to uh, like use the standard like scroll all the way over there and type in the letter. It's kind of got like you use your thumbsticks like in combination. It's uh, kind of cool. Okay, so yeah, for the name thing, if you go over the name and just um. Press uh, the. Sorry, I, I left there like three seconds ago. I was. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. So yeah, just click to go forward, and it'll go through to the, to the oh river. Oh my gosh! Here I go. It's got to fly through. <laughs> A nice water shader. Um, oh, I see. So it's kind of like uh, a, a real kayak, okay? No, actually, you can hit the uh, if you press A and the left toggle forward, he'll paddle forward. The okay. uh, the trigger buttons are just to turn sharply, and or not the A, sorry, uh, the O, I guess. Okay. And then if you press the U, then you can actually do uh, tricks and stuff, so you can actually like orbit around. All right. So technically, like. If I use the right paddle, it would go left, and the left paddle would go right. But I could be wrong. Maybe it's a special kind of paddle stick. But I just mean in real uh, life. Well, he, yeah, so in kayaking, you know, like, um, basically, you know, if you if you hit the right paddle, he's just putting his paddle in the water, and so it's slowing oh, he's, he's down that side of the kayak, and it makes him turn. Okay, yeah. Uh, I see what it's doing there. It just pushes down way in there. Yeah, so I think O and left toggle forward is paddle forward. You might want a FPS counter here. It's a little bit choppy. Is it? I'm going to go slow so I make it down the hill. <laughs> Uh oh. So cool. It's 
So once you get to a waterfall, uh, just on the edge of the waterfall, you'll see some fish under the water. I don't know if you can see them or not. But... Okay. Are you able to go for it at all, or is he just splashing around? Um. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, just I knew it. I'd go fast and I'd get it, go out of control. Ah, uh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, st I'm stuck. Is there a way to like? Jump out of my boat. Oh, there we go. The U button gets me unstuck. Uh -oh, yeah, you, you can let you do like, tricks and stuff like that so you can completely flip over and whatever. So anyways, yeah, there's some little fish on the top of the waterfall. I have to put a uh, glider so he doesn't keep popping up like a cork. <laughs> I've got a rocket ship. <laughs> I think my orientation is is drowning now. That's okay. I can complete the mission upside down. <laughs> so to reorient orient yourself, you uh, you press U, and if you press to the side a little little bit, um, he should flip over. I hit his head on a rock. He's out now. <laughs> the mini map's going crazy. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things I gotta fix. <laughs> Everybody watching wants to play. I know it. <laughs> it's like a submarine kayak now. <laughs> I can't manage to reorient myself. If you press A, he'll uh, he'll pop out of that mode. Yeah, he's still upside down. There you go. Oh. Yay! <laughs> That's why we're like six seconds behind. <laughs> It should only be three, three seconds, but then it's got to transmit, so maybe. So Tim, <clears throat> yeah, I uh, I came late to the party. Apologies, but uh, you made a post about the uh, Unity 3D uh, Mobile Basic. Oh yeah, it ended up being a false <laughs> alarm. Like, they they tweeted me like somebody accidentally posted it by mistake. We don't know who it was. So it's like ah, I should have taken a screenshot because it was totally like the Unity guys, I think. So. Oh okay. So do you think it's gonna happen or? No, they said they said they said something like somebody had a case of the Mondays or something. I I don't know. It was kind of like <laughs> basically they're not gonna. It was somebody reposted or retweeted from last year and made it come up or something. Oh, all right. Well, that sucks. Otherwise, it could have been kind of cool. It had been extremely cool. Yeah, because that's all you need to go on the Ouya, right? Just... Yeah, we're we're getting ready to actually buy that. So that'd have been like awesome if we didn't have to purchase it. Yeah. <laughs> We've got plenty of demand. They should just do a sale. Just be like, sorry guys, here you go. Because they'll still get a sale anyways, right? It's like, yeah. Well, we plan on going pro, but we don't want to spend three thousand bucks for Unity yeah, Pro. 000. 